Welcome back to How to Build an F-14 Tomcat. It's uh, been a bit longer than I was hoping for this next video update, but um, work gets in the way. Then I had to, I spent some time with the family this week after getting back from work. So, and how it goes, you gotta keep the, the women in your lives or the significant others happy or things just don't go very well. <laughs> All right, so anyways, I believe in the last video, Showed you guys I had a half the nose cone mold done, the flat parting planes done, and uh, everything was waxed and ready for the, the next half to start. See here I've got the the flap it has already been covered in the first layer of surfacing resin, or the second layer of surfacing resin, both of them, and I've got the cotton flock resin uh, mixture around the perimeter to kind of flare everything in. The same thing is also done to the nose cone half as well so earlier today I went out and or I came out here and I cut all the fiberglass I needed for both flat molds and both of the um, well basically all the flat all four halves of the flat molds and the nose cone mold and the canopy as well so basically all of the fiberglass is cut. You just gotta get out here and roll it down. And slap her down. So you can see this piece of fiberglass isn't quite long enough to uh, go the whole length of it along with the flange. So I'm just gonna lay it down and I cut a couple of other pieces that I'm gonna overlap here momentarily. Again, I'm just using the U.S. Composites resin. I know I said I was only going to use this stuff on the non-production parts tooling and all for the molds. But I used it for half of the, uh, the nose cone mold. So I'm going to use it for the other half of the nose cone mold so I don't get any kind of different uh, hardening or expansion properties from the different resins. Then I'm going to use it for the same for the, uh, the flat mold as well. Again, it's just keeping everything consistent. And um, plan is I'm going to get both of these molds completed today or tonight. I'm going to wake up in the morning, um, demold the nose cone and this flat mold, uh, wax and PVA, the other half of the flat mold for the other half, and get the other flap in the parting plane and it waxed and PVA'd. And hopefully I will be able to we have the second half of this flap mold, the first half to the other flap, and the canopy vacuum form plug all tomorrow. Whether or not that happens, we'll see, but that's what I'm hoping to get done. I get to go out of town yet again on Monday. So don't expect any updates between, well, pretty much tomorrow and Probably the following weekend, but we'll see. I might get home early, I might get home later. I, I never know, my schedule is so weird. I, uh, I literally, I got home on, oh, let's see, I left on Tuesday, Tuesday, I believe. I got home late, late on Wednesday, Thursday morning, and Back into work on Friday just to find out that I have to leave again on Monday. <laughs> All work and very little play, unfortunately. So again, like I was saying, this uh, cloth isn't quite long enough to go the full span of the, uh, the flap and have a flange at each end. So I've got a couple of other little pieces of cloth that I will bring out here in a moment. I'll overlap on the edges. And then the next 45 degrees sections will overlap more on that and everything. So it'll kind of tie those two pieces into the same on this section right here. Oh, 
hopefully everyone's having a good week and weekend. Weather here is kind of, that's fair. Kind of off and on rain the past couple of days. air bubbles right here that are being difficult so I'm just gonna take a number 11 pin or a building pin and just poke the fiberglass where the, the bubbles are so they'll pop out this cotton flock mixture you can actually kind of push it around under the under the glass cloth to get it to go where you want it to fill some of those bubbles as well now you guys can't really see it but that's all I'm doing is just kind of moving the flock around putting little holes in the, the fiberglass cloth with this number with this pin just to get rid of all the little air bubbles. And the next jet project was officially ordered today. So the uh, twin 90 millimeter SU-27 will be the next jet project. I uh, went ahead and ordered this stuff from Russia today. So I suspect it should be here in, oh, probably a, a week to 10 days or so. Here's those extra little pieces of fiberglass I was talking about. Just lay that down. And this is overlapping the, the layer I just put down by a good, oh, four inches or so. And the weave is oriented this the same direction, so you're not putting this on bias. It's also uh, parallel to the, the to the length of the plug.
All right, so it was one uh, layer on the flap. We'll go ahead and move down there to the nose cone mold. Now again, all the fiberglass is already pre-cut. You notice this one, I didn't trim as much uh, as much glass off of the edges as I have stuff previously. The reason being is mostly because I couldn't get it to fit in the bandsaw and my Dremel tool decided to crap out on me so I'm kind of stuck with <laughs> what I could get. So I just work with what I've got for now. Yeah, so I don't have a whole lot to talk about <laughs> tonight. Just kind of uh, exhausted from the past couple of days. In the past week, really. I was down in Franklin County, Virginia this past week. Down there spraying some mosquitoes. So if anybody down there who uh, noticed any low flying airplanes over Franklin County, um, the western part of Suffolk, and everything late last Tuesday. You're welcome. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, we were just spraying for some 
mosquitoes to help with the contract down there. You get rid of some of the those little pests because they are definitely a nuisance. But that's how what pays my bills when we actually have work. Unfortunately, it's a very seasonal thing, but it's also very unique in the civilian world because it's not very often you hear of guys flying at night wearing night vision goggles and being civilian pilots. So different and uh, very demanding work and very seasonal <laughs> on top of that. So now I'm just kind of slitting the fiberglass to get it to, to fit where I need it to go. Now I've got some scrap fiberglass pieces that I'll put along that back side here. This nose cone's been a little more difficult than the other one. Maybe I just waited too long and didn't do it soon enough, so I forgot how I did the other side. It's like building wings. The first one takes forever, and the second one goes a lot easier. <laughs> Now that I got that done, what I'm going to do is just trim this little excess bit off here. I'm going to put this around the back side here. to uh, reinforce that backside where I put those slits in it.
if you're wondering what I'm using to support this thing while I do all this, it's uh, just a DeWalt drill bit case. There's a good plug for DeWalt. <laughs> It just so happened to be readily available, which means it was an easy reach, and uh, just about the perfect size, which fit all the criteria. I didn't have to buy it, and, I, and it works. So, all right, there's that layer. Now we'll come back over here to the flaps. a pre-cut cloth. I'm going to approximate 45 degrees here. Then just work my way across with just a, not a lot of overlap, just a little bit. I got about, no, about a quarter of an inch or so. brush across the glass to make sure it, uh, it conforms to everything. I didn't put any more resin down because whatever resin soaked through or was puddled onto the previous layer of two ounce, I'm just going to let this stuff soak up. Guys are probably still looking at the uh, canopy mold for the nose cone mold, aren't you? All right, well, while I get some more of this cloth laid down, I'm going to uh, go ahead and stop the video for now. When I get a little bit further along, I'll start it back up. So we'll see you guys after a while. 